Look at this bag. It's a trick-or-treat bag that says thinking of you and it has a voodoo doll on it. Say hello to Lexi. Lexington, Kentucky, that is. That's right, guys. We are in Lexington, Kentucky today at this Spirit Halloween, which just happens to have an awesome restaurant next door called the Smashing Pumpkin. Wait, it's the Smashing Tomato? I guess you could carve a tomato. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go in this Spirit Halloween right here. I absolutely love going in all these different stores, guys, and seeing just what each one holds. You never know what you're going to find except for a sign that says please use other door thank you oh my gosh guys I am such an idiot the sign says please use other door and it points that way I've been all around the building looking for a door that goes in and it simply meant use other door like not this one this one <laughs> all right guys here we are spirit halloween lexington kentucky so like i was saying you never know what you're gonna find in all these different stores there's always something different that i haven't seen in other stores like look at this right here here is a vintage tie front and tote bag what this is a tote bag Maybe it's like a trans. Oh, I see. <laughs> I thought it was a transformer shirt where it was a shirt and it turned into a, a tote bag. But there is the tote bag that also comes with the shirt and I almost dropped it. It's kind of refreshing in here too that I don't have this loud pumping music that I have to fight against when I'm talking. And since it's right here, let's just begin with the ghost face stuff because I am still on the hunt for different ghost face masks. They have the socks, which I actually have some of these at home in a drawer. They do have these scream masks. Um, these are just like the basic run of the mill scream mask. I want the ones that are different colors, metallic, things like that. We got some costumes here and I don't see anything that is just unique, but we'll keep looking. So right down here, I want to stop down here and look at the Michael Myers stuff because we have a couple of different kinds of masks. We have the regular Halloween one, and then we have this one from Halloween 2, which is just the mask. It's not like a full head mask. And then this one, is this Halloween? Yeah, this is Halloween 2 up here. And this one is funny because, like, I didn't think I liked that mask very much. I always thought that this was my favorite. And if you watch the movie Halloween 1 and 2, this mask looks the best in Halloween 1. But honestly, this one, seeing it in person, actually looks pretty dang awesome. We got the jumpsuit here. We have the Michael socks, which I think I even have some of these at home. And what is this? Oh, this is like the pins. Under that sticker, there's a little Halloween knife. And then we've got, what the heck is that? It, oh, it's like a little TV with Michael on it. And then when you got Michael Myers' face there. And look at this. I don't think I've seen these before. It's a Michael Myers magnet. Now, they may have had these up in the front of other stores, like where they have all the other magnets. But I've not seen them in the actual display before. Of course, right beside that, we have Freddy Krueger, who is one of my favorites of all time. And look at this. I say it every year. This Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4 Dream Master mask is like my favorite Freddy mask ever. I think this one is done better than any Freddy mask I've ever seen, except for like the really, really expensive ones. Oh, and look, we have another Michael mask that was on the, on the shelf right below there. That's from one of the new Halloween movies. I love the look of that too, except for the smashed in head. <laughs> so we got the Freddy sweater here. We got several different Freddy masks. This one's just the plastic one. The Nightmare 4 that I was just talking about. Uh, that's a Nightmare 4. This is just a regular one here. They've got the fedora hat, which is totally awesome. And look at this. They got like a beanie cap. That's cool. His hat, his glove, and the Elm Street. What is this? Oh, well, that's like a, a necklace or a choker. I don't know. <laughs> look at this. They've got Nightmare on Elm Street nails. Socks. I think I have Freddy socks at home. 
Um, we have the deluxe glove here. There's usually one that's like a little cheaper than a deluxe, and then you step up to this one here, which is like the major supreme edition replica metal glove. This one is really cool. In the Freddy Krueger sweater dress. I don't think I liked this the first time I saw it, but the more I see it, the more I like it. I think that looks really cool. Then we got Jason over here. And I love how they have several different kinds of masks. Like just so if you can't afford like this one up here that's 45 bucks and totally awesome, then this one right here is just like basically the same thing. It's just a little different and it's only, the heck, how much is it? Oh, <laughs> $16.99 for that. They've got the machete down here. Of course, they have the machete and the mask together right here. All kinds of hats and stuff. Camp Crystal Lake. Here's a Friday the 13th beanie. Oh, here's a magnet. Camp Crystal Lake. I like that. That's really cool. And then what is this? This is like a camp counselor hat. We got another black one down here with Jason on it. More socks. I think I have those too. The Jason jersey. And up here we have costumes for the counselors. The man and the woman counselor. And then we have Jason's uh, costume there, which too much of a reflection. You can't see it very well. Oh, I almost walked past Sam. You gotta love Sam. There's his lollipop. There's the costumes. And I am regretting not buying the candy bar the other day. The one that the, uh, that the razor is inside. Oh my gosh. And just as I mentioned it, I find it right here. The Holly Ho chocolate bar. I'm buying that today. Oh, look, this is a light up lollipop. I don't know if I've seen this one before. Maybe. Yeah, look at that, it flashes, that's cool. We got Sam's treat bag, a hat, the cost, oh, this is the deluxe mask. I think this is the rubber one, is it? No, that looks like, it, it might be rubber inside, and it's uh, like burlap on the outside. Man, I think that would be so hot. I'm not even wearing a mask, and I'm sweating like a hog up in this piece. We've got some killer clowns from outer space. Look, we got the shorty mask, we got the spiky mask, and then up here, we got a jumbo costume, a shorty, and we got the candy, the cotton candy gun. Hmm. Oh, here we go. This one's working. Look at that. Listen to this. That is totally cool. I showed this in another video, but these are some of the coolest masks I've seen so far this year. Of course, you have Beetlejuice. That's the half mask. And then here's the full head mask of Beetlejuice. But over here, we have Barbara. And look, she's got the uh, the eyes in her mouth, and there they are. That's where you see through. You can see there's holes there. And then behind that one, we have the Adam mask. And this is my favorite, because look at this. There's Adam. Here's the mask where his hand pokes out through the back and his nose is stretched. But then if you turn it around, there's eyeballs that come with it. So you can put them on your fingers. <laughs> Ooh, and they got the Chucky stuff here. Look at this, we got a Tiffany costume. We got the Chucky Good Guy sweater. That is pretty cool. Play Pals Toys hat. We got the Good Guys uh, pins and patches. We got the Chucky socks, I have those as well. We got a couple of different kinds of Chucky knives here. This is my favorite here, the one that looks like it's been patched up. And of course you got the Good Guys hammer. They have some Batman stuff, but guys, I am still on the lookout for this Batman mask that I saw at the, at the New Jersey store, the flagship store, and I passed it up. I have a friend who absolutely loves Batman, and it was like the best looking Batman mask I've ever seen, and I didn't get it, and I regret it so bad. Oh, the music's on now. Okay, look at this. We have the Billy Butcherson costume. That is awesome. I cannot wait for the new Hocus Pocus movie to come out. And then we have a Hocus Pocus broom here. They still have a lot of stuff that they're setting up. The lady told me that they have a shipment coming like next Thursday, I think she said. So they should be getting a whole lot more stuff in. I always love the astronaut costumes. These masks or the helmets are so awesome. And these costumes look really cool. And of course you have the option of the black astronaut helmet. That's really cool. Look at this, I don't know if I've seen these before. The haunting scarecrow costumes. And who doesn't want to be a pirate pillager? <laughs> Look, they got the hook, and they got all kinds of different swashbuckling swords, and this awesome pirate dagger. 
I love this costume, the deadly doll. Look, she's holding a deadly bunny with an X on its eye. Let's see if they have any masks that I haven't seen anywhere else. Here's the wicked scarecrow mask that you would wear with that costume we were just looking at. And I love these Universal Monsters masks. The flagship store had the whole collection in stock. I should have just bought them all then. We got Frankie there, and then of course down here, we have the creature from the Black Lagoon. I love that one. I have my new office at the house, and every time I see this stuff, I'm thinking of how I want to decorate it. And I would love to have all these Universal Monster masks lined up behind me somewhere on a shelf. I think I say it every year, but I absolutely love this metallic pumpkin mask. That is so creepy. Hooded darkness. This looks like something out of a squid game. This black and blue wire mask reminds me of Mr. Punchy. Yeah, look at that. That looks so cool. I love how it flashes. This always cracks me up. The mini witch hat. I just want to put one of these on and make a video wearing it sometime. Or just a random white tail. No other part of the costume. Like no ears, no nothing else. Just walk through filming wearing a white tail. Let's put some stickers out for the Ghostbusters. Here's another Dead by Daylight ghost face costume. Look, they have like three of them. And I'm really up in the air of whether I want that mask or not. I mean, I'm not into devil stuff, but I do love ghost face and that would be a cool part of the collection. I'm just not sure yet. This is a cool costume. This one's really creepy. The Rake. It's one of these super skins costumes that are skin tight. But look at the fingers. Look how long the fingers are. And of course, you gotta love the Hugs the Clown costume. I wish they would bring back the Hugs animatronic. I so regret not buying the Hugs animatronic when he was available. This is a pretty good looking Chucky mask. It's not the rubber one that goes over your whole head, but it does still go over your whole head. It's just half hair. It's a half hair mask. Oh, and here's the other Chucky knife. This is the third one. I, I think there's only three available, but they have like, you know, the one like this I showed you earlier, and they have the plain one like that, and then this one here, it's like the voodoo knife. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. This is awesome. For little toddlers, we got a Sully costume. And Mike Wazowski, he read the map wrong with his one eye. Look at this, we have Pickle Rick socks, the gizmo suit. Oh, and here's a couple of new Stranger Things. Eleven's dress, and then you have a Hawkins cheer uniform. And this is cool, the family video vest. Yes, look at that. I think you can actually go on to Family Video's website and order a vest, unless they're all out. I'm tempted to dress as a Teletubby next year at the flagship store. What is this little fella in a basket? It's just like a... Oh, I see, it's Toto. It's Toto in a basket. Yeah, because here's the ruby slippers, and here's the Wicked Witch. They must be waiting for the rest of their uh, delivery, though, to get the rest of the costumes. And they have the Sanderson Sisters Pops. Those are so cool. Look at this bag. It's a trick-or-treat bag that says, Thinking of You, and it has a voodoo doll on it. We don't have Charlie's bucket, but we do have the candy corn bucket. All right, guys, I think we've seen everything there is to see here in Lexington, Kentucky. So I'm going to get on the road. I have no idea where I'm going next. But keep your eyes peeled, and you may just see me in a Spirit Halloween store.